Alright guys, John the Basic Expert here. This is the second time recording this video, but I need to get this out because I'm pissed. Um, this makes me mad. As a freelancer, as someone who does freelancing for art, I'm not a freelance writer, I write my own things, but as someone who does, who's a freelancer for art, this pisses me off. And I want to cover this, I want to put these uh, losers on blast. They are already getting destroyed in the quote retweets. They're already getting destroyed destroyed in the replies, and they deserve it for this sort of disgusting behavior. I want to say there's a difference between disassociating from someone, and there's a difference from trying to sink that person's career. And these losers, these these woke activists at Leyline Press are doing the second thing, and they deserve to get dragged for it. I'm going to drag them in this video, and they deserve it. So let's look at this uh, tweet here. Um... Let's uh, zoom in a little bit here. So they say uh, Le at Leyland Press here, uh, Dear all, today it has come to our attention that one of our editors on Salvage Union is currently working on Lamentations of the Flame Princess <laughs> and has been involved with other problematic works, problematic, and have received widespread critique uh, that have received wide widespread critique for bigotry and other harmful issues. A bunch of buzzwords, no receipts. Just trying to sink this editor's career for associating with the quote wrong people. We believe that these are highly problematic games. Oh, f off! By authors and companies whose politics and actions are vehement, we vehemently disagree with. While we are we're unaware of this prior to hiring him, it is our responsibility to check the work history of freelancers we work with. We are sorry that that we did not do so as carefully as we should. We would also like to be clear that this editor had no developmental role in Salvage Union. He was hired on a freelancing basis purely for proofreading, proofing and editing. In, so he's not even an employee. Let's, let's point this out. This is a contractor. They're trying to tell this contractor who he can and can't make other contracts with. And also they're trying to use essentially libel to sink this editor's career. In order to avoid our, ourselves and our other contributors being associated with these damaging politics and actions, we have removed the editor's name from all Salvage Union books. We will not be working with them again in the future. I hope no one works with you assholes in the future. We want to apologize to the tabletop community. I hate the C word in regards to the hobby. Uh, including our readers and collaborators for this mistake. We will vet all contributors more thoroughly in the future. I suggest that buyers customers vet who they're buying games from a little more uh, carefully in the future. Don't buy from Leyline Press. If you have any questions or concerns, please get in touch with us directly at hello at Leyline Press, Leyline.press. Um, and they're getting just dragged in the comments, seeing a lot of familiar faces. I've never purchased anything from your company, and now I never will. Thanks for showing your true faces. After taking a look at your website, I'm sure you have worse problems to worry about than moral purity of freelancers. Maybe try releasing something worth buying before going into virtue signaling. This is like one of the only ones I've seen that is like positive towards this. Thanks for taking responsibility and doing what's right. It sucks that the Krognards have already found your tweet. Nah, we just think, again, trying to sink someone's editor career, freelancing career. Freelancing is really hard. And I've worked with companies like Leyline Press in the past. I worked for a company as a freelancer, as a contractor, contract artist. Um, and, and this is from a company that espouses leftist values. Uh, and one of those leftist SJW values is, um, you know, uh, workers' rights and support the worker and the laborer. I wasn't paid for six months from this company. These people like this, like you're just trying to sink some, some freelancer's career because they freelanced for other people that you don't like just because like I worked for this company. That doesn't mean that I agree with, with, with this, uh, this other woke company. That doesn't mean I agree with a woke company. I just like money and they offered to pay me and they didn't pay me for six months, but that doesn't mean I agree with everything they do or want to, want to be associated with them in every aspect of what they are and what they believe. It just means it's a business transaction. People should be able to separate these sorts of things. And they're just, we're at a point where we're just incapable of doing that, apparently, for these people. It's all about activism. It's not about games. But they're just getting dragged in the comments. And they deserve it. I like this one here. You got this vibe. Are we the baddies? Thanks for identifying that Leyland Press is about bigotry and cancel culture. Boycott. Hashtag boycott Leyland Press. Um, they're just, it's just, uh, it's just terrible. Um, 
what this is. They're getting dragged in the quote quote retweets. Um, there seems you're all alt right adjacent now. Grats. <laughs> Uh, this is absolutely revolting behavior. Don't know what the person they're talking about and don't care. This pathetic pandering cowardice is where RPG hobby is today. Hope companies wetting themselves in fear that cancel culture mob will will come for them. Great job, fascists. And then oh, oh f off, you pathetic virtue signaling frauds. Um, it's just I am not seeing anything positive in any of the the quote retweets here. It's it's all just looking pretty bad. And, um, you know, I, I quote retweeted this as well. One thing someone pointed out, um, peaceful memes. Uh, I Googled the guy, never ne having, never, never having heard of him and discovered he pays a pile better than basically everyone else, which is true. I don't know. It sounds like a little bit of a competition jealousy sort of thing here because James is very fair. He's very, he's, he's, James Raggi is very fair very very accommodating towards his his uh his employees his contractors and treats them fairly so more fairly than they're than they're treating them so th this just pisses me off because again as a freelancer this is not an easy job it's not an easy gig you do it because you love it sure it's, it's a choice i could go out and get any other kind of job i want but i enjoy doing it it is hard work but this is just isn't fair behavior this just isn't right and um i i don't know leyland press deserves all of the vitriol that they are about to get and are getting um i i this isn't 2016 anymore this sort of behavior isn't gonna fly people are fed up with it they just want games they don't want to hear your stupid virtue signaling about oh we can't we're trying to cancel this person for associating with lamentations of the flame princess those bad people over there like no one no everyone's sick of this Everyone in the hobby is sick of this. Only a select few weirdos are still doing this, and you're trying to cater to people that don't buy games in the first place. This is a recipe for disaster for you, Leyland Press, and I 100% support it. So, uh, Leyland Press is trash. They don't treat their freelancers very well, obviously. In fact, you know, they're this bigger company than a freelancer is in trying to sink this guy's career. I don't know who this editor is. If you know who it is, please sound off in the comments. I'd love to. Uh, retweet that person in support of them so that they can get some work. They lost Leyland Press. They lost a gig. I want to uh, support them and help them get, uh, you know, do do better than, than Leyland Press would probably like them to do because of this. So, clearly there was nefarious, um, malicious intent behind these tweets towards this editor and a freelancer. And I think that that's completely unacceptable and unfair. Uh, you should have, what Leyland Press should have done if they didn't want to associate with this person anymore is just told this person privately and not make a big deal about it because now, now you're going to face the repercussions of Leyland Press of what you've done and said and what you've attempted to do. This is not appropriate behavior. <sighs> just pisses me off. Blood's boiling. I need, I need my coffee. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Extra video this week. This pisses me off, but I'm happy to see everyone dunking on Leyline Press. They deserve it. That's going to do it for this video, guys. I'll talk to you later. Peace out.